This is Frog and this is his swamp. Frog was an artist. He saw things differently. Their colours, their shapes. He saw the beauty in everyday objects. But Frog's swamp was so dull, he needed to find some inspiration. So he gathered up his materials. Pinch, crack, snap, yoink. And soon he was ready to get going. Just a short walk from the swamp was Bear's Cave. Hmm, drop, drop, bland. Lacking certain something. Frog took out his brush and got to work. Swish, splash, splosh. Bear is going to love this, Frog told himself. But Bear did not love it. My cave! Shouted Bear, what have you done to my lovely dark cave? Out! growled Bear. Pfft, oh fuck. Some people just don't appreciate fine art. Just then, Frog spotted Snake. Snake has great taste, he muttered. Snake will enjoy my art. It won out! Such great angles, such wonderful form. Quite improvement on your old look. Wouldn't you say, Snake? It seems that Snake did not agree. Oof. As Frog continued his journey, he painted, sculpted, painted some more. He even tried a spot of performance art. I suppose anything can be art, really. That's the wonderful thing about it, cheered Frog excitedly. Unfortunately, not everyone agreed. Frog moves groaned. You've made a real mess. We think it might be best if you pack up your fins and take yourself back home. The other animals nodded and grumbled in agreement. Frog gathered up his fins and marched your feeling cross. Hmm, they just don't understand. I was only trying to be, bring a bit of beauty to them all. Although, maybe they liked their fins the way they were in the first place. Oh, how can I put this right? But then he had a great idea. If anyone needed a touch of colour, it was Frog's very own swamp. Filled with inspiration, Frog got right to work. Painting and sculpting, cutting and sticking. Frog grinned. This is going to be marvellous. Finally, after a busy day's work, Frog posted and handed out his invitations. Dear friends, I hope you join me for the grand opening of my great art show. When everyone arrived, Frog hopped up onto a tree stump and cleared his throat. <coughs> friends, I'm so sorry for ruining all of your things. I just wanted so badly to share my art with you all. Luckily, I think I found a better way to do that. Ta-da! Welcome to the swamp. You're welcome to visit anytime, and I hope you enjoy yourselves. Frog found all the inspiration he needed right at home, and his friends loved his colourful swamp. After all, what was Frog's biggest inspiration? His friends.